So recently I've had a couple athletes with a TFCC injury in their wrist, uh, triangular fibrocartilage complex, which uh, really controls a lot of pronation and supination at the wrist, so they get a lot of pain with it, um, with that motion. And typically the treatment option is either a surgical procedure or a long arm pass, which goes from the elbow down to control that uh, pronation and supination for about six weeks. So I've been playing with a couple of uh, taping techniques just to help limit that pronation supination, also reduce pain in that area. So what we're gonna do is a double helical pattern uh, with it. So we teach the helical patterns in our uh, basic and performance courses through rock tape, but we don't do it in this way and then I'm gonna do a double helical, so this is a little bit unique. Um, so I'm going to start with my anchor and I'm gonna start on the back side of the wrist and forearm here first. We need to make sure we pick a really good angle and then what I want to do is put the arm, I can either go neutral or if I really want to bias this to control the pronation supination, I can bias her out just a little bit in the supination and she's going to hold that there and I'm going to wrap this around in our helical pattern and end up here on the upper arm. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to go the opposite direction with it. I don't like to tape on the palm, so I'm going to start, um, actually I'm going to start back here so I can cover up again that point where they're having pain. And then when we wrap around, so once I get it anchored here on the back side, I'm actually going to bias her just a little bit into pronation. And so the idea is, is I'm putting this on, I'm not putting stretch on the tape, but what I am doing is putting her in a position that actually extends that tape a little bit. So now we got the double helix, so when she goes to pronate and supinate, she's neuro, uh, neurologically, she can get there, but neurologically she's going to want to limit it. Plus we covered up that point of pain really well so we get a decompression effect over that. So throughout the day she's going to limit that range of motion a little bit, a little bit allow that TFCC to heal. And, um, but also do it in a way that we don't have her locked into a cast. She can still be functional throughout her day.